Is a complete magnetic pole shift about to occur on Earth, as scientists think? There are certain signs that they look for. The poles are shifting, and the magnetic field could be flipping. And this would get really nasty if it does. The shield that protects our Earth from solar radiation is weakening, and they don't know why. They uh, believe it's something changing from within the Earth. We can't prevent it, but we have to prepare. One day in 1905, a French geophysicist, Bernard Bruns, brought back to his lab some rocks he'd unearthed from a freshly cut road near the village of Pont Farin. And when he analyzed the magnetic properties, he uh, concluded that they showed some kind of a different magnetic uh, occurrence. He was astonished. He found that millions of years ago, the Earth's magnetic poles had been on the opposite side of the planet. And uh, north was south, and south was north. The discovery spoke of planetary anarchy, and scientists had no way to explain it. Today we know that the poles have changed places hundreds of times, most recently 780,000 years ago. And uh, we even have records of this from the ancient Greeks. You remember at the time of the... Uh, well, pre-flood, actually. And uh, there were records of the fact that the sun was rising in the uh, west, setting at the east. And they were uh, taking as a um, point of location uh, northern Africa. In other words, it was rising from, uh, from um, west of Libya and setting on the side of Ethiopia, as you can imagine. This is what they were recording in ancient Greece. So that was at the time, from what I remember, of the Trojan War. So that the Trojan War must have been really way back. Now, sometimes the Poles try to reverse position, but then they snap back into place in what is called an excursion. The last time was about 40,000 years ago. We also know that when they flip next time, the consequences for the electrical and electronic infrastructure that runs our modern world today will be a catastrophe. The question is, when is that going to happen? In the past few decades, geophysicists have tried to answer that question through satellite imagery and uh, science, of course. They figured out how to peer deep in the Earth to the edge of the molten metallic core of the Earth, where they believe the magnetic field is continuously being generated. Now, since then, we've also read a couple of days ago, they believe that the um, magnetic field is actually generated in the mantle, which flows more uh, freely. But uh, then again, that's, they're still finding things out. But uh, now, it turns out that the dipole, the orderly, two pole magnetic fields our compasses respond to is uh, changing from within. The latest satellite data from the European Space Agency, ESA, the Swarm Trio, which began reporting this in 2014, showed that there's some kind of change going on raging at the edge of the core, of the Earth's core, like factions planning a coup, swirling clusters of molten iron and nickel gathering strength, draining energy from the dipole. The North Magnetic Pole, as we know, is running from Canada towards Siberia at about 34 miles a year, an astonishing rate, a sign of enhanced turbulence and unpredictability. Now, the uh, Southern Hemisphere has already gained the upper hand over about a fifth of the Earth's surface. A uh, cabal in southern hemisphere, they said. And uh, now if these magnetic blocks gain enough strength and weaken the dipole even more, they'll force the north and south poles to switch places as they strive to regain supremacy. Now scientists cannot say what will be happening. They can't say for sure what we have. Of course, we've never experienced this. The dipole could beat back the interloppers, but they can say that the Phenomena is intensifying 
and that they can't rule out the possibility that a reversal is now beginning. So um, we have to plan for this in the future, obviously. The magnetic field is weakening, it's also shifting, and the poles may be flipping, and this will not be a very good uh, outcome, of course. And um, we have animations showing movements of the North Magnetic Pole at 10-year intervals from 1970 to 2020, and showing the differences between magnetic north and the true north depending on where one is standing. The Earth's magnetic field protects, as we know, our planet from dangerous solar and cosmic rays. It's like a giant shield, and as the poles switch places or try to switch places, this shield is weakened, and scientists estimate that it could waste away to as little as a tenth of its usual force, it could be compromised for centuries while the poles move, allowing, of course, this uh, dangerous malevolent radiation closer to the surface of our planet. And uh, that would be detrimental for all life on Earth, not just humans, of course. Already changes within the Earth have, uh, Earth have weakened the field over the South Atlantic, where we have the South Atlantic anomaly. And that's so strong that satellites have to close down while they're passing this area not to receive extra radiation because it could burn them out. That radiation is not hitting the surface yet, but at some point when the magnetic field has dwindled enough, it could be very uh, dangerous, of course. Now, the director of the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics, University of Colorado Boulder, Daniel Baker, one of the world's experts on how cosmic radiation affects our Earth, expresses fears that parts of the planet would become uninhabitable during a reversal. The dangers, he said, are devastating streams of particles from the sun, the galactic cosmic rays, and enhanced ultraviolet B rays from a radiation-damaged ozone layer. And those are just a few of the detrimental things that would be harmful to anything living on Earth. Now, scientists have never established a link between past pole reversals and catastrophes of uh, perhaps mass extinction events. But the world as we know it today is not what happened, what, to, what was around 780,000 years ago, at least from what we know. And uh, that's when the poles last reversed, or even 40,000 years ago when they tried to. Today there are nearly 7.6 billion people on our planet, that's twice as much as we had in just 1970. We've drastically changed the chemistry of the atmosphere, the ocean, and with our activities compared to well, the environment of our planet. And we've built huge cities, industries, and um, uh, access to safer living spaces for many other animals as far as the animal kingdom. We've pushed perhaps a third of all known species, they say, into extinction. And now if you add the intense cosmic rays coming in, ultraviolet radiation to this, the consequences, of course, for life could be uh, a lot more detrimental. This is on Out of Minds 2. I'll leave a link below for you for this. This is from Strange Sounds from Alain and Michael via Undark. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.